Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. As you can already tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a collab with Nettie Designs. Nettie reached out to me to do a collab on one of her kits, so I chose the Swan Love Collection and I got it in silver foil. I felt like it still looked very feminine even in silver foil. I think the silver looks really pretty with the pinks and blues. Here are the full boxes. I just want to give you a wiggle so you guys can see everything. And I did fall in love with the weekend script. That's actually how I found Nettie's shop to begin with, was her script stickers. Um, here are some scripts with the icons, deco pieces, tons of icons to select from. You have the headers as well as some extra um, washi strips down there, some sidebar trackers, little things. Here are the washi pieces, headers, another sidebar tracker. You have some of the half boxes here, a habit tracker, a checklist, and bill due. And here you have the full box heart checklist with some flags. And here are the date covers, date dots, and her really pretty script stickers. I do, again, love her script stickers. This reminds me a lot of Shantae's um, handwriting if you follow Shantae on Instagram or YouTube. And here are some three heart checklists and appointment labels at the top. Again, this kit is called Swan Love, and it's a very, very full kit. She also includes this little freebie that matches. It's got a movie marquee appointment label, a box flag, some scripts, and some sidebar goodies. And again, these are also some of the headers that you can pull in if you would like. And I am going to try to pull in this washi. Um, I struggled to find something in my collection that would match this based off of the blues and the pinks. I don't have pink with silver foil. The only pink and silver foil I think I have is like a polka dotted one and it wouldn't match this. So I know this is an holographic foil at the top with the white, but I feel like silver and hollow are very close, so I'm okay with it. And then I pull, I'm going to pull in this 10 millimeter um, all silver foiled one and try to pull in this ombre blue and white one in silver bow foil as well. So I will try that. <laughs> no guarantee. And here is the pen I'll be using. Nothing new. You guys know I'm obsessed with my Muji pen. And this one is in 0.5. And I will be planning for the week of June 10th to June 16th. So if you are interested in watching this collab, then stick around. Nettie will be doing her own version in her planner as well. So you guys can definitely check out how we both use it and check out her shop. She's got amazing script stickers. I absolutely love her script stickers and her foiled icons as well. So I'm going to start by doing my washi like I usually do. I'm going to pull in that 10 millimeter Simply Gilded washi in silver just to add a little foil down there and to break up the washi that came with the kit. And I realized that this side of the washi was a little bit longer, so I had to trim the um, end of it as well. So. Um, I had a difficult time planning this week. I think I've just been really overcritical of myself, but I also felt like um, the kit had so many options, so I was a little bit overwhelmed. And like there were so many options, but there was also not enough of some things that I needed, so it wasn't the right fit for me when it comes to functionality of what I use for my planning style, but I was able to make do with it. And now I'm just going to put down the date covers as well as the flags. The flag situation on the top left hand side is going to constantly change throughout because I couldn't decide what color I wanted to use so I apologize for that. And I'm just going to put the date numbers as well. I'm sorry if I sound really tired. I just woke up and I haven't had coffee yet but I'm too lazy to go downstairs and make a cup of coffee. I'd rather just stay up here in my office and finish this out. Um, and I really do think this full box is so pretty. It's a rose um, with some silver foiling in it as well. And that's also something that um, I noticed about this kit um, is that there was just a lot of foiling going on. Um, and I'm not used to using kits really with a ton of foiling in the boxes and the kit itself. I would typically pull in my own foil. Um, sorry, I almost knocked my mic over. <laughs> I was being so aggressive this morning. Um, so I just try to find a way to balance it out, um, based off of my style. And I really do think this weekend banner is so beautiful and I put it down like easily. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> 
Um, but those silver headers are from Ciela stickers and I just wanted to use that throughout and switch them out and also put them um, on all of the full boxes that were not on the top row, if that makes sense. And so, um, again, the lighting is so hard to capture when it comes with foil on camera. So I'm so sorry if sometimes like when I use foil headers um, or glossy overlays that it just is so, so bright. Um, but now I'm just going to go ahead and do the sidebar. And I think what did it for me too is that I'm not used to using this color palette. So I am trying to expand my horizons, I guess, but it's just a colorway that I'm not used to, like all the pinks and the blues like that. So I'm trying to adjust and especially like this being a vibrant um, pink and bright blue. Even with my Ciela stickers kit for the week of Easter, I even struggled with that because the colors were so, so bright. And you guys know I'm typically like, I typically use colorways that are earth tones or neutral and cool. Um, but for me, this is probably what like threw me off too was that there was just, the colors are just not what I'm used to. Okay, so um, on the sidebar, I used the script sticker workout from the kit. I really love that script. It's so pretty. And then the upload sticker from Kinsey's Creations. That laptop is from Magic Prince Co. And then I also used a Sweet Bella XOXO script sticker to mark dinners and Happy Mail. And that seven heart checklist at the bottom left hand corner for Happy Mail is from Avenue K Design. And now onto Monday, I used a GP sticker studio with a bow from sticky sloth design to decorate it and that coffee first script sticker is from Kinsey's Creations. I used a film sticker from Magic Prince Co as well as that camera and I marked work with the CL, um, not CL stickers, a uh, Sweet Bell XOXO script sticker and that Clever Gal Crafts flag. That's what I'm going to use for the whole week. And that super cute character sticker that says adulting is hard is from Every Minute a Story. And then I went ahead and marked that we binge watched season three of Riverdale at the very bottom left hand side of Monday. And that bow I used in the middle of the full box is, or the half box, is from Sweet Bella XOXO. And then on to Tuesday, I took this day off. I needed a mental health day. Um, if you need one, I highly recommend just taking it. It's so important and absolutely necessary at times. And so on Tuesday, I marked the day off with a script sticker from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. And then I marked that I uploaded my Hobonichi plan with me using a YouTube icon from Anna Luna Co. And then I used the divider from Samantha May Sticks in the middle. And then I marked that I did Facet Cardio and that kettlebell is from Magic Prince Co. I pulled in a lot of Magic Prince Co. stickers this week. I'm super happy about that. And then I just tore some Simply Gilded Washi in the middle to give that foil there. And then I'm so glad I got these Panda Bird Design um, half box scallops. And I used that to mark my nail appointment also with a nail sticker from Avenue K Design. And then I accented that with a Simply Watercolor Co. Um, bow. And then I marked that I filmed my April highlights using a Samantha May Sticks camera. And I also marked that I had pasta meatballs for dinner with a sticker from Hazel Sticker. And then on to Wednesday, I edited and those stickers are from Honey Inked, Magic Prince Co. And the edit script is from Kinsey's Creations. I went to work at a meeting and those meeting post-its um, are from Hazel Sticker. And I also layered it with a uh, coffee cup from Rose and Tea Shop off camera, so I'm sorry you didn't see that. And then I pulled in a quarter box from the kit to mark that Honey Inked had her new release using a cute um, binder clip from her shop. And then I also marked that I had Chinese um, dinner and, um, or Chinese for dinner. <laughs> and I used that Chinese box from Tasseled Planner, super cute. And then I also went ahead on to Thursday and marked Fasted Cardio, that girl's from GP Sticker Studio. And again, mark the same thing with meeting, except I'm using a coffee cup from GP Sticker Studio. And then this was a really good day. We had Krispy Kreme at work. Um, so I used a Coffee Monsters Co. Modi to mark that. My boss basically bought us um, Krispy Kreme. <laughs> and then I also went ahead and marked that my boyfriend and I had Ono Hawaiian takeout for dinner. It's like a Hawaiian barbecue. And that sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I was so glad to use that. Um, it came in just in time. 
And on Friday, I might have missed it, but I used this um, overlay from Netty Designs as well um, over that full box because it was a little bit empty and I wanted to add a little something to it. And it just says, um, say hello to summer. And it's in silver foil. So I don't have a lot of overlays. I'm still waiting from um, for mine from um, Girl Boss Anna. And then now on to Friday, I'm marking Friday with GP Sticker Studio and a heart from Tassel Planner. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and mark the gym using a kettlebell again. And so this is what I struggled with was that a lot of the boxes had so much foil, um, like just foil sporadically everywhere that I had a hard time seeing things that I wanted to put on the box sometimes, especially if I wanted to use like a foiled heart or, for example, what I did for the Friday sticker. Um, and then I marked another meeting the same way I've been doing it all week. And I marked that I got sushi with my coworker Alex. She's like my work bestie. And that sushi sticker is from Paper um, Crown Prince. And then I marked that my boyfriend and I watched Black Mirror. And that movie marquee is from the kit as well. Um, every Friday after payday, my um, work friend and I, we, um, we get lunch. So I think that's like a really fun tradition we've started. Um, and then on Saturday, I'm going to go ahead and mark that I've essentially planned all morning using a GP Sticker Studio desk. And that planned sticker is from the kit. And then I marked the gym again. And then on the full box, I went ahead and used a film and edit script sticker from Magic Prince Co. And then I used a flat lay, a Hobonichi flat lay from Let's Plan It. And this flat lay is so adorable. I really loved how this looked where I, when I um, layered the upload script sticker above it or below it. It looks so good. And then I also marked that we had a double date with our friends at a, um, at a restaurant and bar by the water. <clears throat> it's like right off of the river. So it was really beautiful. And that food sticker is also from Paper Crown Prints. And I also used a tassel planner heart. Um, because they are such a um, kind couple. I love them. They're so sweet. And now I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling out my sidebar. So on Sunday, my boyfriend and I purged so much in our house. Like we cleaned top to bottom and we got rid of a bunch of things. And it's just, it was very much needed. It's so crazy how you can accumulate so much stuff. It's insane. But we try to live very minimal and just have things that we need and not have a bunch of like, you know, things that we just basically just collect dust. Um, so all of these cleaning stickers are from Brianna Nicole Designs. I think they're so cute and it was perfect to mark the entire morning and most of my afternoon with that and a washi strip from the kit. And then I'm gonna also go ahead and mark at the bottom that we're gonna get groceries. That grocery icon is from Avenue K Design and the script is from the kit and marking Jim using an Avenue K Design tennis shoe sticker. And then essentially I'm going to go ahead and mark that I'm uploading this collab with Netty Designs using a laptop again from Magic Prints Co. Alright guys, here is the finished product. And I just want to show you the leftover stickers. This is a very deluxe kit. There are seven pages, not including these two add-ons. So there was definitely plenty to work with. One hiccup I had about this was that there was a lot of foiling on some of the boxes. So my handwriting didn't look good writing over foil and secondly um, I felt like the foiling overpowered my handwriting so I couldn't really see what I was writing in the box for example I love writing on washi strips you guys know that I love making my own boxes so I just couldn't see my handwriting and what I was trying to write but I do love her script stickers they are beautiful so beautiful and I just want to say that there are some boxes that I did enjoy using. I really enjoyed using these like boxes with just the foiled um, lines or border and her foiling is really neat. There's no lifting, it's, it's not clumpy, it's not missing or anything like that so that's really good. And then these ones are not so bad because there's only foiling at the top and there's still space to write there. But one thing that I will add to is I am not used to using this colorway. You guys know I love earthy tones, neutrals, and like cool colors. Even with my April um, Easter spread, I, I like how it turned out, but it still was not like my color preference. Like I tried it to do something different and to get outside of my box, which I love how it turned out still because of, you know, I feel like my style still came through. 
but it's just not the color scheme I'm used to using. Like the pinks and blues and these really vibrant pinks are not really what I gravitate towards to, um, at all. And if you love the colors, then that's amazing. Everyone just has their own style and preference and that's just my style. And um, yeah, I'm just trying to get out of my comfort zone and try different things. So I'm also giving you guys different things on my channel so you guys can see other shops and just, I'm. This is definitely a fun experience for me too. So here is a Viv Wiggle. And one thing I want to tell you guys is um, I'm going to do basically just a surprise giveaway. Meaning if you are, this is only open to my YouTube subscribers. If you watch this video, just comment below. Just say um, giveaway entry or giveaway and go ahead and follow Nettie as well. Go to her YouTube channel and subscribe and let me know that you're interested in the giveaway. And so what it is is $25 to her shop for anything that you want. I also have a discount code for her shop. It's Gathered Plans 25 for 25% off. Again, comment below and subscribe to her channel. Let me know you're interested in the giveaway and I will be um, picking a winner, I believe this upcoming Saturday, Saturday the 22nd. So June 22nd, 2019 will be the time um, or the day that I pick a winner. So if you're interested in that, then definitely just, you know, comment below. I would really um, be happy for, you know, to do a giveaway to my subscribers because you guys are the real MVPs and you're all amazing. So I just want to send some love and let you guys know I appreciate you and I know you're there. <laughs> but again, go check out Nettie's um her spread and see how she used her own kit. And again, here's another wiggle. I love all the foil I did in it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and definitely go say hi to Nettie. Let her know I sent you and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye guys.